we'll be making a transition where we bring the side of the duct in. When we do that, we'll need to cut off material on the top and bottom panels, and we'll make this transition. This is a 12 by 8 duct. I'll be transitioning down to an 8 by 8 duct, so I'll be taking four inches off this side. We start with the duct, and we always begin with the four inch, with the, with the uh, female ship lap. And keep in mind, I'm going to take four inches off this duct. So what I'm going to do now is measure down four inches. I'm going to have three quarters of an insulation right here, half a board thickness, left resting on top of my side panel. So I have to add three quarter inch to my four inch. So I'll come down four and three quarter inches. I make my change dimension at about two and 12. So I'm going to come back 24 inches, put a mark on the duct. And at this point, I'll draw a line between those two marks. And that's where I'll make my cut. I'm going to roll the duct over. I'll do the same thing. On this side, I'll come back four, four and three quarter inches. Remember the three quarter inches because we have a shiplap panel resting on top of this panel. Come back 24 inches, put my mark, and draw my cut line. Now when I do this, I always recommend that you look here to make sure that this is where your cut's going to be and you look on this side to make sure the cut's up to the top of the duct. Once you're like that, then we can set our knife in. And I like to cut through the facing first when I'm cutting thick board. That gives me something for the knife to follow when I make my final cut. And at this point, since I'm cutting a butt edge panel, the way, the way the panel was grouped, the duct was grooved, this is a, a butt edge panel, I can just simply make a straight, straight knife cut and cut that panel. I'm going to turn the duct over, do the same on this side, a straight knife cut, straight down through the duct. At this point I pull this flap out. Now I need to remove this insulation. The way I do that is I'm going to pull the duct up to the edge of the table so I can get my knife flat down like this. I can get part way, maybe I can do the whole thing. Yeah. Now, one of the problems we've got is that when this panel, when this panel folds down, we have a really large flap here. What's going to happen probably is, as air pressure builds in the duct, if I were to leave the flap that long, we would end up with a bubble under it because of the air pressure. So what I want to do now is trim that flap down to about two inches. And that'll be my stapling flap. I turn the duct around and I do the same thing here. And again, I cut the flap down. Now then you can see that I've got a butt edge panel here and I've got the ship lap. This will come down into position. I'll take my stapling gun. Staples two inches on center. I'll 
apply my pressure sensitive tape. Again, staples two inches on center. And there's the finished transition. We've gone from a 12 inch by 8 inch duct to an 8 inch by 8 inch duct.